chat. Um, but you will. I mean, it is a good. It's a good intention game. Ninja Gaiden 2. This is a really good game. One of my favorites. Um, your ninja. There's partial nudity and suggested themes. Not that much partial nudity. I don't even know what suggested theme stands for. But very, very violent and very, very gory. Like amazingly gore gory. Like one slice and like their freaking arm will come off, man. I mean, this game is so gory. I can't even believe it. For all you gore fans out there, this is a game for you, no doubt. Um, what else about this game? It is pretty violent, but it's fun because like you can like customize your weapon and upgrade them, which I like a lot. But it's hard for like all you gamers out there that want like an easy just drive by or flow by game where you can beat it and be like, oh hey, I beat it now I could go gloat. This game isn't for you. It's hard. I mean, I haven't played it because my Xbox been broken and I have all these other games I have to play, so I'm kind of just rotating. I haven't played one game for like a long time. I just like rotate my games. <sighs> Call of Duty. I'm not going to show you guys Call of Duty 4 because we all know they're basically the same thing, only different timelines. Blood and gore, intense violence, strong language. Probably maybe seven year olds, eight year olds. This game should be rated T. The only there's not even that much gore people. Language and violence. It's not, it's not even that violent. I mean really the only thing is the online. That's why there's strong language in it. But you know, if you go online and like NBA or whatever and people are like talking trash, you're still gonna hear it. I mean you know, you gotta be realistic here. I mean, don't be like I don't know. It's uh a very good game. Very good. Um once again, these are all the M games, and we're going about why they're violent and why people kind of want to play them. The reason why people want to play more Grand Theft Auto games than war games is because war games are very closed. Like, you have to go a certain direction, and you have to stay in that direction. Like, in Grand Theft Auto, you could roam around. You could go in the ocean. You could fly a helicopter. You could do all that fun stuff. Um, this game here is also fairly, very, very good. Gears of War is just exhilarating. That's why I like it. Um, Saints Row 2, once again, open world, same with Godfather. Fair 2 is closed world. It's just that I like it because it seems like a pretty good shooter. Um, okay, Halo 3. A lot of people like this game. You know, it's Halo. It's one of the best series, you know. Um, I am for blood, mild language, violence. This game should be rated T. This is probably for maybe people that are 7 and older. I mean seriously. Don't, if you're a parent and you're watching this, or you're just a kid, I mean, what's, what are they going to pick up? Oh, you shot a uh, Spartan or whatever, or whatever they're called, they haven't played this game. Um, you, oh, you shot a Spartan, look at the green fake blood pops out, or whatever. There's not even that much blood. I mean, this game should be rated T, no doubt. All the Halo games should be. Maybe maybe not the first one, but second and third, definitely. Hands down, should be rated T. Oh, our last game. This is probably going to be second to last, probably, on the violent game list. And this is Fable 2. Well, this is an RPG. Blood, language, sexual content, use alcohol, violence. I haven't really played this yet. i got to get back into it. Um... Because I don't know where to go. I decided to choose the bad side, I guess. I don't know what I was doing. I just decided to press random buttons. So I'll probably restart my journey, or whatever it's called. Because I let my friend borrow it, and he beat in like 12 hours. I'm like, oh my god, dude. So, there's not that much blood language every now and then. Sexual content, lot of. Uh, alcohol, yes. Violence, not intense. But there is some violence. You could run. You could like hit people. You hit people with swords and stuff, which is pretty good. Cause you, it's not like you send people to go. Oh, hey, here you go, kill this guy. You actually have to press the buttons, like in a shooter game or whatever. Which that's the reason why I bought this game. Um, I got it cheap though, so that's another good plus. I only got it for fifty bucks off of Amazon.com, and the sale is over with, I think. But I was gonna either get it there or at Best Buy, so. And it had free shipping, so very, very good deal for me. <laughs> um, but once again, it's a pretty good open world. I mean, talk to merchants and whatnot. And this game here, if your kid's into this kind of stuff, I mean, I don't see 
content wise it's bad it's not really bad content except for the sexual themes which you have to watch out for but once again that is your choice if you want to have sexual themes or not um other than that this game go right ahead i would let my little brothers watch this no doubt i mean what are they going to pick up from this go and hit a weird monster thing like one of those weird guys right there i mean seriously look at that like look at that monster oh where's my finger at that monster right there right there um i mean seriously what what's the worst thing that they have i mean you could be bad or good so that's an rpg game and for my two T games that I actually have that are actually semi-violent is <coughs> excuse me is um Quantum of Solens and Soul Calibur. My little brothers like this game a lot because it's like the only T game that they actually get to play because my parents are so uptight because they think they'll turn out like me like a killer fanatic or whatever because I'm into a whole bunch of first person shooters. This game here is very good. I mean the graphics are pretty sweet. Uh, the online gameplay is amazing. The cover system, everything about it, it's, it's just good. You can go, I think it's like first person and third person, I think, or second person. Um, it's James Bond. I mean, there's not much to say about it. I mean, the only thing that they took out, which I hate, is the multiplayer. All you can do is go on live. That's it. That's the only multiplayer they have. They don't have any, like, cool out player or whatever, which I hate, like, a whole bunch. But, what are you going to do about it? It's a good game. I like it a lot, and I would probably not trade this game in. Um, it's not challenging per se. It's more um, I don't know, like kind of like actiony. It's not really. It's a shooter, but it's also really actiony. I would definitely let my little brothers play this, especially like if they're just starting off on their flow of violence. Like I would let them play this game. Soul Calibur. It's a sword game, people. If your kid's like maybe five or whatever, and he's like, hey, let me get this, don't hesitate with content. I mean, mild language, partial nudity, sexual themes, violence. Um, the partial nudity is when you make your character. Okay, there's not much of a story to this. Like, there's only like four levels, and you beat the game. Woohoo, congratulations. Me and my brothers played it, played the story mode, and we beat it within maybe five hours or so. And we didn't even play constantly either. Um, this game is very good. I guess. I mean, I don't really play it. It's kind of for my little brothers. Um, but once again, all of this is swords. I mean, there's no guns. You just fight people with swords. You get to be a Yoda or whatever in like the new, um, not Darth Vader, but it's like Dark Apprentice, which is pretty sweet as you can see Yoda, which is very like fantasy. And this game here should be rated, not E, but since there's swords and all that stuff, I mean, you should definitely let your kid play this if, you know, he brings up that subject. Um, okay. Now we're going to move on. Instead of just talking about games and correlating stuff, why people like violent games. Like, Resident Evil, I like it because I'm a fan of the series. This is just one of the movies I have. I have all of them. And for Easter, I'm probably going to, I hope I want to get the, um, I hope I'm going to get the uh, animated one because I'm a big fan and she's very hot, which is another plus. Um, these movies are very action-packed. There's some nudity, but, you know, once again, the five seconds, the odds of your kid walking and seeing that little, that little bit, it's even hard to see. I mean, I need glasses, but I'm not that bad with glasses, and I can barely see it. But, you know, I mean, my mom, she doesn't even notice half the time. And, I mean, I'm old enough to watch this stuff. But, um, this game, this movie's just good, and it's violent, and it's not like just a random gun around and shoot you, it's zombies, okay? That's, that's all it is. It's not like you're shooting real people. Okay, four brothers. Very violent, a lot of strong language, like, a lot of strong language. And this is probably my favorite movie right now, one of my favorite movies. Because, there's the one scene... Which is, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but this scene right here, where they end up attacking the house, favorite scene in the whole world. I mean, I recorded it, put it put it on YouTube, it's just amazing the way that they film this. I mean, great movie. Very violent. I would not recommend this for kids under the age of maybe 13 or 12. Definitely.